हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जी आई एस पीडिया इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न वॉट इज ए जीरो डबेस वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ जीरो डबेस एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट जीरो डबेस सो लेट एस सी वॉट इज ए जीरो डबेस एट इट्स मोस्ट बेसिक लेवल an arcgis jira database is a collection of geographic data sets of various types held in a common file system folder that is a microsoft access database or a multi user relational database management system this multi user relationship database management system can be oracle microsoft sql server postgres sql informix or ibm db2 so actually the jira database is a container which is used to hold a collection of data sets data sets may be special or non special in a jira database we can create data sets in which feature classes such as geometries points lines polygon layers rasters and tables can be stored what are the types of jira databases basically there are three main types of jira databases personal jira database file jira database and enterprise jira database personal jira database in personal jira database all data sets are stored within a microsoft access data file its format is format is .mdb which is limited in size to 2 gb which means that a personal jira database has a limited storage capacity up to 2 gb next is file jira database in file jira database each data set is held as a file which can scale up to 1 tb in size which means that each data set inside a file jira database is limited to 1 tb in size next is enterprise jira database we can say that this is the biggest jira database which have unlimited storage capacities and there is no limit of users it can it can support multi users on the top of it we can implement versioning and replication concepts so this was all about what is jira database and what are the types of jira databases now let us learn how we can create a jira database so let us open our catalog we can see this is a catalog tree and this is content pane having additional two tabs preview and description and this is the menu bar for our catalog so in our catalog environment we will learn to create a jira database so in this our catalog we can create jira database from three different areas so from content panes also we can create jira database by navigating to new menu from catalog tree also we can create a jira database and from file menu also we can create jira database so let us create jira database from catalog tree inside the catalog tree first of all we have to connect it to a folder in which our jira database will store so i have created here folder connection now navigate to new and file jira database so our file jira database have been created with a default name new file jira database and extension name is .gdb .gdb is the extension name for a file jira database so we can rename it like tutorial so this was a simple method to create a file jira database as we have learned its storage size inside each database 
it contains a feature data set which is limited to 1 TB in size. Let us create a feature data set inside this GeoDatabase. Give a name to it and select a coordinate system. So I will select a geographic coordinate system with the datum WGS1984. So if this, if we want to enable this data set with the 3D, so we have to give a vertical coordinate system. Otherwise, move to next. So in this pane, we will see the XY tolerance values, Z tolerance values, M tolerance values. So these are the default values. I will go with default values only. So our feature dataset have been created. So inside the feature dataset, we can add feature classes, rasters, and tables. Let us add feature classes inside it. So here how we can import already created feature class inside a feature dataset of a geodatabase. So here we have to browse to a feature class or a layer which we want to add inside it. I will select this. Give a output name. See, we can see that our feature class have been imported in this database. So if we want to create a feature class inside this feature data, feature data set, we will see how to create it. Right click, go to new and select feature class. You have to specify alias also which represent the name of this feature class. So here in this drop down we can create polygon features, line features, point features, multi point features, multi patch features. These are basically 3D features and annotation features. So let us create a polygon features. If we want to create this feature class with Z enabled values or which stores 3D data, we have to select coordinate which includes Z values. So let us enable it. Let us en move with default values. Here we can give field names or we can specify here the fields which should be present in our attribute table. So let us add name with a data type of text here we can increase or decrease the length of this field let us put 100 so our this name field will be limited to 100 characters and another is area let it be long integer if we have already created an attribute a feature class with which is having a schema and we want to implement the same schema in this feature class so we can import here we have to browse to this layer and we have to add it so here in this way we have created a feature that class inside a feature data set so guys thank you for watching this video hope you have learned how to create a geodatabase and what is a geodatabase Thanks everyone.